The future of TikTok continues to be one of the key stories of the week. Joining us to talk about that, the platform, and what a ban or a sale might mean for the TikTok community is Zach King. He's a TikTok influencer, currently has the third largest amount of followers on the platform. Zach, it's great to have you. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, you're no stranger to how this all works. You were already uh, a king on Vine uh, and clearly now on TikTok. Uh, let me just start by asking um, what the community is saying about what may happen to the platform, whether it's a ban or a sale. Yeah, so when the, fir the news first broke, you saw a lot of TikTokers, half of them started saying, hey, go follow me here on Instagram, YouTube, all these other socials, because, you know, you don't want all your eggs in one basket for these followers. Um, but also you see people a little confused on, on why the ban. Um, I think a lot of the young generation doesn't understand the idea that there could be security risks um, and wondering if those are true or if it's, um, you know, for other reasons. If, if, it were to go, if it went to another large cap tech player, Microsoft, obviously the most obvious example of the moment, um, would that mean a big migration uh, in, in development in, in terms of content creators? I, I think you're going to see, I mean, the, 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 we love the platform TikTok. It's got so much engagement on it. That's where our audiences are, a large portion of them right now. And so we hope the best for that platform. If it means going to a company like Microsoft um, to uh, bring that to the U.S. and make it more secure, then that's great. I mean, there's other worries, though, like can, can you do that transfer and have the management work with such um, an innovative company at the moment, which is TikTok, um, or will that actually be a killer in itself? So there's kind of uh, both camps there. We're looking at some samples of your work, and uh, anybody who's uh, who hasn't seen it already should definitely. It's not the typical, uh, you know, kid with their parent dancing on TikTok. You take a lot of care in this stuff. Is it your view right now that the technology of the platform allows you to do what you do better than any other platform? Yeah, the, the algorithm is incredible. What it's done is it's leveled the playing field so that, you know, if, if you're trying to crack into YouTube right now, it's such an impossible game. It's, it's doable, but it would take so much work. Whereas you have TikTok allowing people, I've even had people, staff members on my studio who have created accounts and gone viral and now have several million followers for themselves, um, just creating with whatever their niche is. And so I think that's the power you have People like Kombucha Girl, um, Brittany Broski, who's able to have a reaction to tasting kombucha for the first time, and that goes viral. And now she's got a whole career out of it and can transition to other platforms like YouTube. So I think with the fact that the algorithm picks up a user, sends it out, starts testing it among other people, and if it's good content, it keeps spreading it. And that's it's got a different level of virality that we've ever seen in a platform before. Hmm. Zach, Julia Borston here. A question for you about transitioning from virality to profitability. You have a ton of followers on, on TikTok, 25 million followers on TikTok, but you're also on all these other platforms. And I'm wondering how your experience is on TikTok in terms of making money from those followers compared to all these other platforms, because it seems like that ability to make money is really what would be crucial to the long-term success of TikTok. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. As a creator, you, you have to be able to financially... Uh, work a brand deal or a commercial in there, or like YouTube's done so well, having a partner program that pays with true views and AdSense. So that's incredibly important to the ecosystem. And I think what you're going to see, whether this was in the conversation or not with Microsoft getting, uh, or with TikTok getting banned and the Microsoft potentially buying it, if TikTok didn't get monetization in place this year anyway, I think you would see a, a start to see a migration from the platform. So it kind of comes at an interesting time where um, Microsoft may be able to back them uh, and help build that creator fund even bigger than, you know, they've announced now.